Well, good morning, um, everyone. Um, this is your being your own CEO success circle. And we're back to um, broadcasting pretty much the same way as uh, we did before. We uh, finally discovered <laughs> some, some adjustments. So, um, and this morning we uh, decided uh, that we would uh, invite people to, uh, in, uh, again, introduce themselves but uh and just like with just a one line intro and uh but also to add um um a sentence that says today i'm feeling uh vivek and i looked at uh, a number of things online that uh, seems to indicate that um a lot of people are in need of being able to express how they're feeling with the uh, with the current uh, environment that we're all in at the moment. So I might just um, start us off by saying I'm Lowell Ann, and I'm um, working with uh, re retirees who would like to uh, start uh, an online business. And today I'm feeling. Um, a, a little less discouraged than before. <laughs> um, I won't go into a, a, dis, a description at this moment, but um, so that's, uh, that's uh, who I am. So um, David, would you like to, uh, to go next? Yes, I'd be happy to. Um... I'm on a two-second delay here just so that I don't say something wrong. Um, <laughs> Flannery with United, or I'm Dave Flannery with Affordable Websites for Small Businesses. I do a number of different things, but for here I'm with small businesses. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling great. I haven't felt this good in quite some time, so um, don't know the reason. Just woke up feeling great. That's nice to hear. <laughs> uh, Fred, would you like to go next? Certainly. I'm Fred Jones. I promote uh, youth groups and leadership and communication amongst young people. And I, I'm feeling very comfortable, even though I've been on a boat now for about a month. But uh, I feel comfortable in the, in the way I operate. The fact that I can move around and, and just continue the way I am, in spite of what's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Right on. Uh, Alana, we are you came on before you heard me say we are introducing ourselves and we are also say saying today I'm feeling confused. Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi everybody. My name is Alana Bur Birmingham from Ireland. My website is ALB Digital Marketing Solutions, where I help people with their websites, um, managing them, creating them, and writing content and social media. So t today I am, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Confuse, so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <gasps> I'll catch up. <laughs> I'll have to find out what you're confused about. <laughs> um Vivek, how would you like to go next? I see Matthew is struggling and trying to get his uh, sound going there. So, uh, Vivek, would you like to go next? Namaste. My name is Vivek Anand. People call me Vivek. Um, yeah, I, I simplify life by unifying different technologies and uh, make things happen. At least that's what my attempt is. Um, I'm feeling quite okay. I heard um, Sadhguru's uh, talk about, I mean, the, the, the number of people who are affected in the United States is really staggering. And uh, compared to that, uh, apparently, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, happy to say this, but Maybe it's to do with the food. <laughs> the the uh, number of 
people who are affected and have died in India is compared to the population there so far has been really minuscule 600 700 people mm -hmm. I think 600 was the number I heard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just 600 people died out of a population of 1.25 billion mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. hard to explain but I don't know mm. so um it's it's for for many of us um life is is not really kind of much different than it was mm. before because we all work in our own space yeah and i i guess um uh to explain i i had sort of uh, started off by feeling really discouraged by what what i'm seeing on the on the world stage etc uh, I'm feeling less that way because I stumbled on a really um, interesting, uh, there's a, a local organization here called Cre Creatively Reunited, uh, United for the Planet. And uh, they have a, um, a week-long seminar series um, this week, started on Sunday, that um, is... Um, intended to celebrate Earth Day and uh, the very first lecture that was there was um, it talked about looking at uh, you know the the fact that this pandemic has given us a pause and um, the positive things that could emerge as a result of this pause um, the lecture was was the most inspiring and um, so uh, that was the first lecture by a, a gentleman who is associated with uh, United Nations University. Uh, yesterday's uh, uh, seminar was by a First Nations lady, elder, and um, a lady who um, is into um, environmental um, things, and the two of them did did um, a presentation about the importance of traditional knowledge and how it may be applied, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and that was really quite lovely. So the seminar series will go for the rest of the week, and um, they promise to upload the um, the recordings to their website next week. And so when it does, I promise I will share the the linkages with you folks because. I think it was, um, it especially that first one so far was was really um, it it's it 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 allowed you to sort of really step back and think think it think about things in a different way. It was really really very very um, uh, inspiring. So, um, Alana, what were you confused about? Just you know, what the heck is going on here? Um, well, we're, there's a kind of a joke in our house right now that every day is Saturday. Oh. <laughs> um, so every morning we kind of wake up and think, okay, what day is it today? And is it the weekend? Because you really can get caught up in the fact that every day is the same day, even though you are working from home. So I have tried to <laughs> schedule my week so that, you know, Monday to Friday I'm working and Saturday and Sunday I'm doing, you know, household stuff. So, um, yeah, it's kind of a running joke around here at the minute. <laughs> okay, that, 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 that makes more sense. And uh, I don't know, I'm looking uh, in the, um, the uh, um, live stream um, comments to see who is out there. Um, I see that uh, Javita is there. Um, and I guess that's so good morning, Javita. Um, happy to, uh, to see you there. And, um, obviously, uh, Matthew came on for a few minutes, but he, uh, uh, it, it was obvious that he was having difficulty with his, um, 
uh, sound trying to connect his audio and then he just dropped off so I don't Mason know if, pardon Mason. yes yes Mason. um I don't know if um if um Matthew is out there watching anywhere but if he is <laughs> I'm glad you tried Matthew so uh Nathan uh, what we did this morning is we um, just said one one line about what we do and finished off by saying today I'm feeling based on the environment that we're all finding ourselves in that can be a loaded statement okay um yeah, anyway, I, I work as a, a copywriter and involved with affiliate marketing. And I'm working with a colleague of mine out of Australia to market a course on neuro-linguistic programming. As for how I'm feeling, frustrated, simply because I really want to move forward and I have to wait for my colleague to get some steps done before I can do the next steps. Yeah. So it's just like, how do I fill my time? Mm. So. Okay. So, um, been there, done that, wrote the book on it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, man, I got the T-shirt. It's like it's like that. Um, not to be politically incorrect, but it's like that uh, East Indian guy called Binder Dundat. Around the world, they been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's. Um, you know, I, I was reading. Um, Years ago, there's a guy by the name of Donald Jack, and he wrote a whole bunch of really funny books. And he would use these silly uh, ways of writing, like like uh, he would write the Maharaja of J H A M J H A R in the state of D A uh, D J E L L Y S P H A D, the Maharaja of Jamjar in the state of Jellystan. <laughs> But you wouldn't get it unless you read it out loud. Right. If you read it, what is that? And then you just go, oh, my God. <laughs> right. So anyway, no offense to you, uh, Quebec. <laughs> I just couldn't resist. Um, so this morning, we, um, our topic is uh, creating a video in, in video. And I started this off with a little bit of a... Uh, conversation to give uh, Vivek some uh, uh, some time and space to <laughs> it didn't work <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> last week we talked about um, working from home and I shared a video that I had created uh, using the in video um, software and uh, so today, our intention was to uh, uh, show one that was kind of partially done so that you could go in, you could see what is there. So I'm, I, am I guessing that um, you're unable to do that, uh, Vivek? Um, in terms of partially done, yes. I think I, I can show you what okay. is partially done, uh, half baked or uh, um, whatever in in process or whatever you want yeah. to call it. Uh, <laughs> well, I think that's that. Uh, uh, rather than trying to show a finished product, that doesn't show. Uh, that doesn't demonstrate anything. So it's probably um, not such a bad thing. But I know you were trying to do something way more complex to start with, but not complex um more yeah something which you can't do otherwise but no that that apparently needs more time and uh, whatever else so right <laughs> and and uh, one more thing i would say is uh nvidia is something in video is something which is undergoing a lot of changes so every day when i log in and look at the interface it's different so <laughs> um I, and and it's it's not, it's not a complaint it's the way it, it it means it's a growing platform it means it's it has a lot of potential it means it has 
a um, lot of things going for it but um at the moment it's what you see now may not be the way it is uh, if you look at it tomorrow um <laughs> so <laughs> the, the the interface itself is changing so um mm. with that i let me see if i can that there was an interface where it said uh, advanced and uh, um storyline uh, even that interface is gone now so i, I can't see it oh. so um <laughs> i'm 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 kind of learning as you go together as we go so right. um yeah let me share the screen and let me show you what i'm and don't and don't with. forget to um enable the sound in the share yeah. screen yeah yeah okay let me start from the beginning so that it's easier let me uh, So it's invideo.io for anybody yeah, who wants to know. Invideo.io mm -hmm. and uh, uh, as soon as you open and uh, you are expected to create a free account, uh, but I have bought a, a premium account for I think fifty dollars. Was it Lovelan? Yeah, roughly. Yes, I think I think, I think uh, David and Vivek and I we uh, we bought a lifetime um, subscription or whatever uh, in AppSumo. Is how we got yeah. it. Yeah. So when I so I have just logged in. So now if I uh, as soon as I log in, this is what I see. Mm -hmm. It expects you to choose one of the formats. If it is a Facebook story, a different one. If it is a YouTube, it's a different one like that here. You, I, I hope you can see my yes, mouse we, cursor yeah, moving. Yeah, we can see yeah. it. Right. So once you select one of them, I'm going to select YouTube. Oh, wait, landscape. wait, wait, wait. Don't forget the three, um, the three tabs at the top. That's really important. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there is one article to video if you have a blog you can select this and then uh, the templates themselves will be different so in, in this sense it's it's more like uh, canva where uh, depending on the uh, destination your planned destination the template themselves will change or the method in which you want to build the video uh, depending on that your template is different and I'm told once you select a template you cannot change it later on um, that's one thing I'm, I was a bit concerned about so mm -hmm. um, so um, one of the uh, one of the things that we experimented with um, we um, I did um, the article to video and uh, mm -hmm. when you click on that it takes you to another screen that allows you to put in the URL of the of the article that you want and yeah. it then pulls er, uh, all the text out of that article into in video where you can so then, you then want, use it you want me to select a template Let, let's try that let's go to Okay. Now let's try the article to video. Which template? Um, um I, I don't know. <laughs> Which one would you like? <laughs> you selected one of the templates. Let's see if we can see the find um, the same one. The one with the buildings. This one. That one. Okay. Okay.
So that was I, I wonder whether you all heard that music? Yes. Loud, um, yeah. very loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, anyway. Um, okay, so let me use this template then it shows uh, this where I can add the headline and then uh, story, but you selected this option, didn't you? Add your URL. Yes. So let's do that. And let's paste your... Uh... Was it from being your own CEO? Or yes, was well, it from... no, it was no it wasn't from from there it was from from my other website lowland.com and what was um i think i just went into the blog and chose not that one cuz we've already done that one so I just went to the, um, uh, no, this I, one. yeah, that was the one we did. So I copy this URL, go back to NVIDIA, paste the URL there and then say fetch. takes a few minutes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. So it, it shows you two, two um, what, what is fetched and what you want. So. Um, so down below, there's a button that says auto summarize. That's that's what I clicked. So then it pulls in some of the items and if you mouse over, you can, like if you don't want to use it, you can just remove it. Mm -hmm. And so that allows you to um, um, choose what you wanted. So what, what I did was just the headers. Uh, let's see. I took that first one out. And I, th I just kind of forget what it. So I, I went down and just did spring clean your computer, and I just took three or two or three, just because I was all I was doing was experimenting to see what you know what would happen. Mm. Um. So then. Um, Spring clean the office and the business and spring clean your website. Those were the, the I think the three I chose just because they were, they were um, kind of uh, headers. Mm. But I, uh, I thought it was, I thought it was really, um, um, uh, really interesting um especially if you um like like myself i've got i've got a, a website that has about 200 blog posts that really need to be updated and cleaned up and uh, etc and i just thought it would be really fun to uh, to go in and create a, um, a short video that w could be added to each one of those uh, blog posts. So. Yeah, I uh, may come to bite me back, but I elected to just hit next. Oh, you <laughs> did. Oh, dear. Brave. <laughs> <laughs> So it has picked up these things. It has picked up 
few images on its own. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, is if you don't like the images that are there, you can remove them and, and uh, add your own, or you can go into uh, the uh, media over on the left-hand side and you can um, choose. Yeah, you, you can, can add. You, you, can, can... you can look for an, uh, another video or another image. And as in Canva, um, you find that some of them are um, um, cost you money and some of them don't. So it just just depends on you know what what it is that you're trying to do. I see David is waving. Yeah, do, does it pick up uh, the photos that are in the blog if you have photos on? Yes, the blog? it does. Uh, that was the thing I discovered is when I when I went in uh, into my uploads, there were all the um, the um, uh, images that were that were in that particular um, blog post. So now, since it's my account, my logo appears there, um, which is controlled here. Brand presets. That's my logo. These are my preferred colors. Mm -hmm. um, that also happens by if you simply upload your logo um, it suggests make some suggestions about your text color highlight color and all that that you can change and uh, those get used in your uh... and you can also uh, input in that branding section there's a place to input your links to uh, Facebook and all your other social media. Yeah. Uh, it and it it can show up in a in a final video, a final scene in your video. However, we did discover that the print <laughs> it was pretty small. I don't know whether we never did discover whether that um, those links were clickable or not. Um, that was one piece we haven't we hadn't um, determined. Yeah, I was talking about this in, uh, storyboard and advanced editor. These are the two oh, tabs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem to be there in some cases. Some cases it is not there. So oh. it's an evolving platform uh -huh. is all what I would like to say at this point. So anyway, it has picked up so many images. This one I selected and added. Mm -hmm. So now if I say preview the whole thing The, the the music is uh, quite loud and uh, and, I, I don't and not know how really to... appropriate to the topic. <laughs> it's not kind of the the music you would choose for a spring cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded low, more like military band or something. I don't know. Much so, faster. <laughs> I see David has the been, war, has war been waving. <laughs> yeah, uh, Javita is asking is. Uh, are these features available for Prime members only? Is there any option for choosing audio files? Um, yes, you can actually upload videos as well as uh, 
music files as you can see here you can uh, yeah the thing that was selected automatically was london fog i don't know what <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and But... it's it comes under the category of angry <laughs> 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 so uh so that's something uh, to... you you can upload your own music you can upload yeah. your own uh, uh video files but it has a limitation in terms of um you can upload files up to 800 mb in size right and i'm i'm not sure how uh, what what Uh, is it 800 mb for each file or is it total 800 mb i don't know yeah so so now you can see those are the uploads that that came in that were part of that blog post these are the part of yeah and yeah. these were the things that i try to yeah. uh, um do myself mm -hmm. um but these i i'm trying to get these things to work together but it's it's not it's not uh, it does need a bit of exploration and uh, i would say so much of things available here and uh, that makes it uh, i mean uh, useful for us to know we should um what happened to how to spring <laughs> anyway so yeah. there's a there's a um um a panel down the right hand side that uh shows you um the layers and um again this is this is the similarity that you see between this platform and canva everything mm. is done in layers and, and you can so, and you can edit any one of those layers you are uh, able to edit the uh, scenes so this is the scene can increase the size of the font um change the style I don't know. I'm I'm just randomly selecting. Right. But that was one of the things that that I was curious about. Like like if you choose a um a template, are you stuck with all the all the visuals that are are within that template and you um are after playing all day yesterday with it, you are not. Um mm. I was able to, I was able to go in choose a template and then uh, make a, a numerous changes um that suited what I want you know what I wanted to say and what I wanted to do so so um it was it it's it it does it i mean in a sort of a way um it I I correlated to the way I reacted to Canva to begin with. I didn't find Canva was that easy to use to begin with. But now after a while you get so you you um you and you use it a few times and you figure this out and you figure that out so that now I consider Canva really easy to use. And I suspect the same thing will happen here is that once you um have figured out, you know, where to change this and what's available and how to do that, etc. Um and uh you can you can play with it um and down below you can see that um you can ch you can change how long each each of those scenes will be and um you can change the music, you can you can change anything uh pretty much that you want to. Yeah. But it is useful to uh to choose um or to use a um a a pre-designed template that saves you a lot of time. 
it's all put together you just need to select and pull things in yes david um can you save one that you get done as a template i don't know <laughs> oh well <laughs> yes and yes in a kind of a way just a minute now so the the very first one that i did the one about working from home i um i finished it off and saved it you're you're able to go in and create a duplicate so that i suppose in a kind of a way that duplicate could be a template uh, but saving it as a template in the in the i'm not sure about that it's a good oh, question I, I was wondering if you could uh, save it as a template and then bring in the uh the blog post into it oh so that you would have more of your pictures in and stuff like that um that well, kind of well um and what i'm wondering it looks like we have to exp we'd have oh, to explore there's more lo there's loads more to explore We're, i mean this is just a, a um you know a, um, a really um we, I mean, we're just at really, really at the very beginning of the learning curve, for sure. Uh, I've, I've probably played with it more than anybody else here has, and I've discovered how to do a number of things. Uh, I played with using, um, you know, a square format as opposed to something else. Um, so uh and you i mean you can play each you can play each scene uh to see how it it, it plays out uh and then you can also go um over to where all your projects are and you can um, um you can you can decide you can play the whole thing to see where it was that one uh, there's one one at the top preview yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so that's yeah it's too loud <laughs> I wonder if, um, I wonder if there's a way to turn the volume down it's way too long as you can see so then um, some of those scenes you would be, you would be able to pull them in etc Fred you're uh, waving I just had a question of just go around the table maybe and say where they could see something like this for application I know it's very early days but mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. example I would think Dave could use this in his um, real estate and say I want to show you a house and here's this room and that room and that room Mm -hmm. um, I, so that's one question I have. The other is, I assume you could add your own voiceover rather than have music. But my there, first question, where there, would you see applying this in your business? Uh, okay. Just you can that. certainly add your own voice. You can add your own video, in fact, okay. with your voice. And uh, but but it needs to be. Um, I, I'm I'm confused about the size limitation they are saying 800 MB. I don't know what that applies to. 
uh, is it the total number of uploads you have is it one file less than 800 mb i don't know okay. so, but in term in terms of application, um, for me, I I've already uh, explained mine that I want to create some little videos that would um, sort of enhance um, a lot of uh, old blog posts. Um, the other thing, the other application I'm seeing is. Uh, Especially if I if I'm doing a new blog post, I might create one of the, uh, one of those and put it on Pinterest. And with Pinterest, you uh, you can you can upload a video and put a link back to your website. So it's it would be um, a, a way to uh, promote or to encourage people to come back to the website. So um, here are I think some. Uh, ideas it can be uh, promotional videos uh, slideshows and there was um, if I remember correctly real real estate was one of them one of the categories they might have changed it but um, I'm planning on using it to update some some blogs and um, I was also going to use it for my walkthroughs mm. and a short one minute, two minute videos of a walkthrough of a home where mm. I narrated it and whatnot. And it made it, it makes it simple and easy to, mm -hmm. to, uh, format these, these videos. Mm. Yeah. So Fred, do you see any application for this with your, um, um, you know, some of the things that you're doing? Well, I find it fascinating uh, the fact that you know, it looks very flexible. I would think some of the blog posts that I do, mm -hmm. I could use it to enhance, similar to what you're stating, mm -hmm. uh, and get the word out, this is what I'm trying to tell you, and then bring them back to the blog post, hopefully. They, it would entice them to, mm -hmm. to get more um, exposure on the topic that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I think that's one area. But I think there's a lot of areas, once you get into this, this could be an easy way to uh, create videos without all that time of cutting and editing, which can be very time consuming. Yeah. So this, this looks like a very intriguing tool, very fascinating. Mm. So I'm, I appreciate what you've shown us. It's a it's, great find. <laughs> and I'll, uh, well, I guess it depends on who you are, but I thought, I, I mean, I've been having great fun with it. <laughs> playing with it <laughs> so alana um <laughs> go ahead alana okay so a couple of things first of all i think it's an awesome piece of software it really puts screencast-o-matic to shame i'm sorry to say that but i've been in love with screencast-o-matic for a long time but I think I'm going to jump the boat on that one. Um, second thing is, um, Vivek, I noticed in the audio when you went over to show us where the audio was, and it mm -hmm. said the category was angry, that mm -hmm. there was a bar that was at 70% for the sound. So I think that's where you can change the the, the volume, the yeah. um, loudness of the sound. But I wanted to ask, oh, and then one more thing. Um, I'm just looking on the internet. It says 800 megs is the, um, there's no storage limit for the uploaded files, but no file size can be larger than 800 megs. So yeah. that's that class, yeah. that's that clarification on that. But I was wondering, can you um, adjust the transparency of images yes. on that? Yes, you can. Can you? Oh, great. Okay. Yes, you can. Great. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. I think that's an awesome piece of software. So well, thank you for and sharing. and I mean, we didn't we didn't go into uh, all the things that you can adjust uh, very deeply on the on the right hand side, all the uh, edits that you can do, but it's it's just amazing. And then also. You, uh, you you can choose, uh, there's a whole lot of transitions you can choose from, and it's just, everything is, everything is drag and drop. It's just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
the um, what is it? I think I think the premium um, um, is or the professional one is something like ten dollars a month. Mm. Um, we were just lucky that we saw it in AppSumo, so. Uh, <laughs> but um, um, and mind you, uh, the the interesting thing was that. Um, we all were invited by the uh, the owner of this site to um, to a, a a personal demonstration. He um, he um, connected with some somebody in the company connected with connects with you right away, and then invites you into a one on one demonstration. Which I was really impressed with that as well. So uh, Vivek, you had you had a demo. I can't remember, David. Did you get a demo? Um, I was invited to a demo, but I didn't have time to do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So Alana, can you see an application for this in anything that you're doing? You know, I would love to find an application for this because I, I just think it's a cool, a pretty cool toy. Um, but I mean, I think if you're doing any kind of a demo, it would be quite useful because I like the way the um, at the bottom there where you can actually go frame by frame. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm sure I could find a way to use it. I, I, I would. I wrote. A, I took some notes on that because I want to do some uh, investigating. But yeah, I'd love to try to figure out a way to use that in my blog yeah i mean it's it i for me i i see it as as useful for uh, promoting your your website yeah because when like you can make make these nice little short clips and whatever and then you can put them on twitch or youtube or or um, pinterest or wherever you want yeah like the whole Pinterest thing is quite interesting. So if you had, you know, several different articles, let's say around the same topic, mm -hmm. how to get a job and work remotely or something. Um, yeah, I think it'd be very useful. And I didn't, I, I haven't dived into Pinterest much recently either. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to get back into Pinterest when I find some time. Yeah. It's, um, it's, um, um, I think Jay did a, a, a series on on. Uh, he did. He Pinterest. did a whole month on it. And, yeah. Um, I watched one. I watched. I, I watched one of them. I think or two of them. So yeah, there's a couple that are quite important that you kind of need to yeah go back into. Yeah. I think Dave's got his hand up. Yes. Sorry, Dave. Go. No, you're fine. <laughs> I'm just waiting my turn. Okay, um, go on. AppSumo App still has it on sale for forty nine dollars for a lifetime <gasps> deal. Oh. where you don't have to pay the ten dollars a month so i'm getting ready to put that into uh the chat the youtube chat oh good right i on. actually just logged into my account there because i bought some stuff from there before and i haven't found that yet but i will google it <laughs> i will do a search on that and uh yeah thanks for that dave oh <laughs> uh, there's the there's the uh link right there if you just want to oh, click on that there it and is log in and <laughs> But but there is uh, there is a difference between the uh, when you go from AppSumo buy the that um, <coughs> package versus if you go into the premium directly from in video uh, because I saw during the during the demo he was saying uh, your package has these things but if you want more then you need uh, uh, to subscribe but that subscription was a bit lower than for everyone else so yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, it, it sounded um, at least uh, as part of the the demo that I got it sounded like if there's something that you really want to do they are really open to hearing from you yeah so yeah, it, so I, I mean, it's what we're what we're profiling here is a brand new company that has the has is taking the time to get out and connect with the 
their subscribers on a personal level and you know uh, and they're making changes as as we go etc so um which is why it was on AppSumo. it was you know part of a, an entry level thing so yeah so um uh, Nathan, I was wondering whether you could see uh, an application for this in anything that you do. Yeah, I mean, the the thing is, I've already got video apps that I use, but I just uh, thought I would come in and hang out today. But uh, um, one of the things that I've done is create video slideshows, and I, I did a major project a couple of years ago to do with Mexico. So I did a voiceover soundtrack. Like the way that I do stuff like this is I write a script, then I do the voiceover, clean up the audio, and then add the slides. That's the way it's done in the animation industry for those of you who don't know. Oh. If, if there's a, an animated film they're going to do or a cartoon, they do the entire soundtrack first and then they build the video, the animation, all of that to the soundtrack, not the other way around. Oh. Um, and of course it's possible to do live demos too and I do that with some of what I do, but but with this, what I did is uh, my my program of choice is Camtasia Studio. I've been writing about it for mm. years, using it for years. Yeah. And so it does what this thing that you've got is, is talking about, but I, I have a lot of control. The other thing is, uh, last week I had alluded to it, it is Adobe Spark, mm -hmm. which is a free program, and it's fabulous for doing intros and outros. And I used it with uh, some really nice music and... I did an intro and outro for this project and I had a lot of people coming to me and saying, you know, where did you do that? How did you do that? It looks like mm -hmm. you did it in a studio. And I really did. I was amazed by how well it worked. Hmm. It took me a while to figure it out, but it was worth it. And well, it really but, but the, the, the value of this is, for those of us that have no desire to go in and learn Camtasia and like all of these more complex programs, well, you don't, you don't have to, but you could use something like Adobe Star Spark to do mm -hmm. the kind of stuff that you're doing with this uh, current program. It takes a while to learn it, but honest to God, the it's really flexible. It's really nice. Um, mm -hmm. It was easier for me to do the titles and the stuff that I really wanted to do with Adobe Spark than I could with Camtasia Studio, but I was just building uh, slide sequences and using uh, transitions. You guys were talking about that in that video. Mm -hmm. Camtasia has a ton of them. Mm -hmm. and you just set them up as to how fast you want them mm -hmm. to uh, trigger. And I mean, you can do some really nice stuff, very professional. The other thing is in terms of looking for images, there are sites like Unsplash and Pixabay and stuff like that where you mm -hmm. can find some really nice images for your project. And of course, so what I could see from this video it had a whole bunch of built-in images. Well, cool. well, and and that that's again the similarity to Canva. Canva yeah. has has all of those, so that you you know, this the, the the, this the this stuff is intended as a quick way to achieve something. Yeah, yeah this this I think would uh, search the images for you. You don't have to go to all those uh, image websites and then search for image. Uh, instead here I, yeah i can't remember how i did it with um with adobe spark uh, i can't and it was a long time ago that i did it but it was just such a a very nice platform and they have all sorts of recorded soundtracks that you can use mm -hmm. and i wound up using one and it was just really really nice um, well and there there are other places like you can you can access uh, soundtracks out of um youtube sure that's sure. where That's I found my Swamp what, Stomp. What I'm trying to say is that it had a whole ton of soundtracks mm -hmm. already included within the software, so you didn't have to search around for ah. them. And uh, yes, of course, YouTube has that. I know that. Yeah. So we have gone over our <laughs> our what agreed upon 30-minute, <laughs> but uh, I just knew that, that um, you know, when you're doing a demo, it... It, it does take a little bit longer and so um, I'm just wondering before I um, uh, pull this to a close if anybody has any final comments that they would like to 
add um, guess not <laughs> well um, so I will bring this to a close with a reminder uh, that it's important to do what you love with passion <laughs> I might say have fun <laughs> And uh, just to, um, um, to let you know, next week we're, we're going to do, um, uh, try to do a, um, a reasonably quick demo of uh, Restream. And uh, I don't know if uh, any of you realize, but things, I, uh, we had, I had a problem that I had to do a workaround between OBS and Zoom. And in the last week, we discovered a workaround and a and a um, a solution to that problem, so which will make my life much much simpler. So uh, I may go back to restreaming uh, again now that we've got this this uh, OBS slash Zoom thing sorted out. But uh, we will show just how easy restream is to work with. So that will be next week. So thanks uh, everyone for joining us this morning and we shall see you next week.